I'm here with Spectator columnist Steve Milton, and Steve, Ticats lose their opening game of the year, 43-16 to the Riders. Uh, what happened? Well, a lot of big problems in the first half in terms of just one or two major mistakes. The, the holding penalty negated a touchdown when uh, Tisdale dropped the ball, which gone for six. There's 12 or 14 points right there. The coach's failure, and, and, I, and I understand there was a communication that they didn't really know because of the, it was slow film coming in. Uh, there was a play that they could have uh, protested and, and did not, and, uh, and then Saskatchewan went uh, on, on to score. But really, to me, it was the first uh, four or five minutes of the uh, second half when the game was still very, very close, and I thought Hamilton maybe by then it had the better part of the play. Uh, Saskatchewan comes out, scores right away. Hamilton's response wasn't good enough. It looked like it was going to be seven points. Henry gets down but gets sacked, and they have to settle for three. And that was it. They really didn't answer anything anymore. The defense was also a concern. I think they gave up uh, 500 total yards, and I think uh, Weston Dressler, uh, obviously three touchdown passes, uh, catches for him, uh, close to 200 yards receiving. He tore them apart, uh, literally, and I think that there are some questions, some real questions about that defense in terms of uh, what kind of pressure they can get, right. uh, what they're going to get from their secondary, and I think we still have to look at those linebackers and how that's going to be run. And secondly, or thirdly, how, this is the guy that beats them. This is the guy that beats them when they lose to Saskatchewan every single time. You have to know where he is all the time. There's probably three or four guys got to know. And he was open way too much all the time. And it might be an issue because it was in part of that soft part of the field, the lower part of the field. It could be a linebacker issue. But it really was the pressure. Uh, a running quarterback didn't have to run very much in this particular game, at least not for his life. He might have had to step sideways here and there. But I mean, every quarterback in the league has to do that. When you don't make a, a running quarterback run, that's an indicator right there you're not getting enough pressure. The Ticats uh, will head to BC next week uh, to play the uh, Lions. Uh, certainly no break there. Travis Lulee, the, <laughs> the, the best player in the league last year. So, so uh, no easy uh, work for the Ticats now uh, after losing the first game of the season. Make sure you check out Saturday's uh, Spectator. Steve's columns in there, uh, my game story as well. For the Hamilton Spectator, Iverwin Stadium, I'm Drew Edwards.